Quick PSA, the City of Idaho Falls Utility Department won't call you and badger you for money. Never. I guess there's a scam going around. There's always some scam with that kind of stuff. Multiple calls being made to utility customers claiming to be their power provider, threatening to disconnect service unless payment for past due balances on their utility account are received. Mm -hmm. I hate to hear about these scams because I'm very scam aware. Mm -hmm. I haven't fallen for one yet. Once, like seven years ago, I did click an email link, a phishing link at work. And I was like, uh, I think that's the only thing I've ever done. Right. But I know, okay. With I the, don't open any any of my emails, so I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> with the INL data breach, I mm -hmm. do know one woman who got scammed. Oh, no. They got some data and then got her to transfer some money. So oh, I, that that's who I feel bad for are the grandmas. Right. Yeah. The people who don't know about what they're doing to try to steal your money from you. Right. You know, we're, we're talking about how if you don't watch Bluey now, you're going to be old and out of touch in 20 years, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, you know, we all, we grew up with email mm -hmm. and know how to use it and know what to look for and know what looks wrong. Right. Like one thing I'm seeing a lot on Facebook groups now, either the admins aren't paying attention or something, but we're going to bless five families with hundred dollar Texas roadhouse gift cards or just something ridiculous. Sometimes yeah. they don't even say what they're blessing you with. Right. Right. And we kind of covered this in a previous episode when we talked about some of these accounts are just trying to get engagement and interaction mm -hmm. and likes right. so that they can then sell their account to an actual scammer. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's hard to know what a scam, like, especially if you're, you know, 80, it's hard to know what a scam is. Or yeah. If like. you're media illiterate. I know a family member fell, didn't fall for, got a scam called the, hey, grandpa, I'm in jail and you need to wire that money. You've heard of that one, right? I have. I have. Where they pretend to be the grandkid calling mm -hmm. and they need money immediately. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if these scammers are like, you have to Venmo us or PayPal us or right. go down and get some iTunes gift cards right now. <laughs> I don't know yeah, how it's like going, that. but- yeah, the power. Oh, and did you know the IRS will never call you either? I did. It'll either be mail or, here's a scary thought, in person. Ooh, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> the yikes. men in black at your door. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, especially when somebody calls you intently and intensely wanting you to give them money right now. Right. Now, and if that ever does happen to you and you're not sure, one thing that I would recommend is get off the phone call. Go on the internet, find the number for the institution, call it and ask them. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't have to. And that's the other thing is 80 year olds, I think, are still from the generation where you have to be polite to people on the phone. Right. I know. I just uh, hang up now. I don't even care. Yeah. You know, when you get into real estate, as as you know, you start to get a lot of calls. Mm -hmm. I, there's a whole secondary industry to real estate. Yeah. And I didn't realize this when I got into it, but I found out pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. All these people that also want your money, mm -hmm. whether it's, um, I don't know, we'll send you leads or this is great health insurance because we know you're self-employed or whatever it is. Right. The minute I hear it's a scam call, I don't even say not interested. I just hang up. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes then block the number. You don't have to be polite to people on the phone. Let me rephrase. You don't have to be polite to people you don't know. Right. On the phone. No. Yeah. I mean, technically you don't have to be polite to anyone, but- then you probably won't have any friends. So that's a bummer for you. <laughs> and here's here's a call back to a previous episode as well. I have started being more polite to my Alexa. I love that. Good. <laughs> Maybe she won't slaughter you during the robot uprising now. Maybe. Yeah. I tried it once. When I say I've started, I tried it once. I did a please and thank you. And it was actually quite nice because <laughs> yeah. when I said thank you, I think she said my pleasure or you're welcome or something that's like that. That's nice. See, that's the thing. I hated that I couldn't say thank you to my robot servant without her trying to like... Do something else for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if it's added a little more copacetic-ness into my life or a what. decorum. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I just treat my robot servant, instead of typing it into Google, mm -hmm. I say it into Alexa. Do you know what I mean? Right. I don't. Oh, yeah. I never saw the point, but somebody, Brad, said, mm -hmm. you know, I'm polite to my robot servant just because I want more politeness in my life. Mm -hmm. I and think I that's thought, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. I usually reserve that for humans. We'll see. We'll yeah. see if I continue to do that. I'm yeah. I'm no saint. I mean, every time I bump into a chair, I say sorry. You do? <laughs> oh, come on. Everyone does that. 
Everyone does that? Yeah. At least I've seen memes about it. Like you bump into a chair or table and you're like, oh, sorry. Oh, never mind. You know? I usually just say, ow. Oh, well. And then I hit the chair. Oh, yeah, no. Because it's the chair's fault for getting in my way. (laughs) (laughs) Sure, sure. Yeah, now I see why you're not polite to your Alexa. (laughs) (laughs) It's not. (laughs) I thought we've had this discussion about anthropomorphizing things. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, it's mostly just that, like, it's such a gut reaction. Like, when I was a kid, I would always say sorry about everything uh, to the point where at one point my family did, um, like, quotes or something like that. And yours was sorry. Yeah, mine was sorry. <laughs> Carly's quote Yeah, was either sorry. that or I'm okay. Because I was really clumsy as a kid. So every time I'd bump into a chair, I'd say sorry. Uh, and then if I have tripped over a chair, I'd be like, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. <laughs>